This is the uh, first lesson of chapter 16 from ACT. And this is going to be uh, complex numbers. Now, so far, even we've always chose to ignore the work we learned in Algebra 2. So whenever we had square roots of negative numbers, we've always said, cannot work out. Now we're finally going to look at uh, when we first see complex numbers if you were in the Cambridge program. So we did a quick review of some key skills. Adding and subtracting, I'm not going to cover. Uh, but I am going to cover what happens if we multiply or we divide. So when we multiply, we're just going to do boil. So 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times negative 3i, negative 18i. And it's just like treating this as a variable right now. We're not even really thinking complex at all. i times 5, 5i. And i times negative 3i is negative 3i squared. And then when we combine terms in the middle here, negative 18 plus 5, is negative 13i. Now we can do a little bit more from this because we also know from algebra 2 that i squared equals negative 1. So negative 3 times negative 1 is actually positive 3. So when we combine it with this, we get 33 minus 13i. Now there's going to be two things that we're going to refer to in this section as well. We're going to refer to the real part of the answer and also the imaginary part of the answer. So if I asked you to work out this and ask what is the real part, your response would be 33. If I asked you to work this out and ask you what the imaginary part is, then you'd say negative 13. So really what we're looking at is the coefficient of what we're actually talking about here. Now if we were to do the one with, oops, if we were to do the one with dividing, then what we're going to do is to, to be able to divide, uh, we're going to need to remember that thing about complex conjugates. Now a complex conjugate is the same term um, but with a different sign in the middle. So if it's 1 minus i, then we're going to use 1 plus i. So this is rationalizing your denominator as well, which we also looked at with radicals uh, in ace 1. Now the reason that we do this is not immediately apparent when you do the top part of this. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times i is 5i. 2i times 1 is 2i. 2i times i is 2i squared. As i squared equals negative 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Now the real reason why we do this is to make sure this bottom part we don't have any terms with i. So we have 1 times 1, which is 1. 1 times i, which is i. But by choosing the conjugate, we also have negative i times 1, which is negative i. So the middle two terms are going to cancel out. And we're going to get with negative i squared. We know i squared is negative 1. So if we subtract negative 1, that's the same as adding 1. Notice now we do have something that's rational on the bottom of this expression. Uh, combined terms here, 5 minus 2 is 3. 5i plus 2i is 7i. And then all divided by 2. And to do the same thing, if I was to ask you the real part of this, 3 over 2. If I was to ask you the imaginary part about this, 7 over 2. And that was just a quick review of what was covered um, in Algebra 2.